The Art of Communicating by Thich Nhat Hanh. Now is the time to listen only. Deep listening is a wonderful practice if you can listen for 30 minutes with compassion. You can help the other person to suffer much less. If you don't practice mindful or mindfulness of compassion, you can't listen long. Mindfulness of compassion means you listen on, with only one intention to help the other person suffer less. Your intention may be sincere, but if you haven't first practiced listening to yourself and you don't practice mindfulness or compassion, you may rather quickly lose your ability to listen. The other person may say things that are full of wrong perceptions, bitterness, accusation, and blaming. If we don't practice mindfulness, their words will set off irritation, judgment, and anger in us, and we will lose our capacity to, sl to listen compassionately. When irritation or anger arises, we lose our capacity to listen. That's why we have to practice, so that during the whole time of listening, compassion can remain in our hearts. If we can keep our compassion alive, the seeds of anger and judgment in our hearts will not be wa watered by and spring up. We have to train ourselves first so we are able to listen to the other person. It is okay if you are not ready to listen at a certain moment. If the quality of your listening is not good enough, it's better to pause and continue another day. Don't push yourself too hard. Practice mindful breathing and mindful walking until you're ready to ready to really listen to the other person. You can say, I want to listen to you when I'm at my best. Would be alright if we continue tomorrow. Then, when we are ready to listen deeply, we can listen without interrupting. If we try to interrupt or correct the other person, we will transform the, sen the session into a debate and it will ruin everything. After we have deeply listened and allowed the other person to express everything in his heart, we have a chance later on to give him a little of the information he needs to correct his perception. But not now. Now we just listen. Even if the other person says things that are wrong, it's the practice of mindful co mindfulness of compassion that keeps us listening deeply. If you have to take the time to look and see the suffering in the other person, you must be prepared. Deep listening has only one purpose, to help others suffer less. Even if the person says wrong things, express bitterness or blames, continue to listen compassion compassionately for as long as you can. You may want to say this to yourself as a reminder. I am listening to this person with only one purpose to give this person a chance to suffer less. Keep the one purpose deep listening alive in your heart and in your mind. As long as you are inhabited by the energy of compassion, you are safe. Even if what the other person say contains a lot of wrong perceptions, bitterness, anger, blame, and accusation, you are really safe. Remember that the other person's speech may be based on prejudice and misunderstandings. You will have a chance later to offer some information so that he or she can correct his or her perceptions. But not now. Now is the time only to listen. If you can keep your mindfulness of compassion alive for even 30 minutes, you are inhabited by the energy of compassion and you are safe. As long as compassion is present, you can listen with equanimity. You know that the other person is suffering when we don't know how to handle suffering inside us. We continue to suffer and we make people around us suffer. When the other pe pe people don't know how to handle their suffering, they become its victim. If you embed their judgment, fear, and anger, you become its second victim. But if you can listen deeply, understand that what they are saying is coming from suffering, 
then you are protected by your compassion. You only want to help them suffer less. You don't blame or judge them anymore. The Art of Communicating by Thich Nhat Hanh